period of Japanese history beginning roughly around the year 10,000 BCE and ending in roughly around the 4th century BCE is known as the Jomon Jidai, or the Jomon period. These dates are somewhat fluid and vary from scholar to scholar, but this range is generally speaking a safe bet. The most recognizable characteristic of the Jomon period is its thick, brownish pottery which is marked by rope pattern designs. These designs literally give the era its name, with the Jō character meaning rope and the Mon character meaning pattern. The Japanese of this era lived in small, cooperative communities bound by ties of kinship, and engaged in hunting, gathering, and fishing as their primary means of subsistence. Their main tools for these activities were ground stone tools, bone tools made from animal horns or fish bones, and wooden tools including boats and bows. They made their settlements in areas that were convenient for these activities, such as on plateaus near bodies of water, and they resided in pit dwellings called Tateana Jukyo. These dwellings, typically inhabited by a family of about four or five, consisted of a pit dug about 50 centimeters into the ground with a fire pit in its center, and sturdy wooden posts holding up its grass-thatched roof. Some particularly notable archaeological sites of former Jomon era settlements include the Sanai Maruyama site in Aomori Prefecture and the Goshono Jomon site in Iwate Prefecture. Excavation of these sites has shown that the Jomon people also, surprisingly, engaged in the cultivation of roots, beans, and tree nuts, and that they conducted trade with other settlements over a surprisingly wide radius. Their religion was centered around nature worship, and superstition and fortune telling are thought to have played a large role in their lives, elements that continue to live on in the Shinto religion of later centuries. This religious inclination is visually represented by their clay figurines called dogu in Japanese, which they are believed to have used as protective talismans or as prayer items to pray for things such as family prosperity and good harvests. Other known cultural customs of the Jomon people also include the bashi custom of pulling certain teeth as a coming of age ritual, and the kuso custom of burying their dead with their limbs folded into a sort of fetal position. The Jomon period does not have a clear-cut endpoint, but it drew to a close sometime between two and three thousand years ago, when a lifestyle revolution was kicked off by the introduction of rice cultivation technology from China and Korea. If you want to know more about the Jomon period, please check out the first video in my Japanese History the Textbook series, where I go into much of this information in greater depth. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos covering this and many other eras of Japanese history. Thanks a lot for watching, and boom, we know